how do you manage distance in the guard? That's like the guard's whole job, basically. So like, let's take half guard as an example. Grace is uh, bigger than me, obviously, and much stronger. And so she starts to dig the underhook and she scores this underhook position. Now shoulders are flat here. And so, so long as your shoulders are flat on the bottom, it's gonna be hard for you to sit up and create mobility. If you find your partner gets the underhook from here, we're gonna put a hand here on the bicep just so that they can't also take a cross face, okay? Cause that would be, that would be difficult. Now she's won the battle for the upper body here, chest to chest, but the lower body is still a little free. So we're gonna move our hips out a bit and that's gonna let us turn onto our side. So as Grace goes to put pressure and leans kind of forward here, we're gonna use our hands on our partner's bicep and then the hand here on the shoulder to create a little space between our two heads here. So I'm gonna move my head back a bit. Into this space, I can take my left knee up over the top because there's nothing stopping it. And even if her knees are here on the inside, we can perform a knee elbow escape and bring this knee first to the hip. Now. Grace's head's still here, still pressure. So we're gonna move back again by elongating. And then we're gonna take this knee and we're gonna perform a second knee elbow escape and put our knee here. And now we're in the beginning of the clamp position. And you can see that even though Grace hasn't really moved and the pressure is still driving forward, I'm able now to move my head away and create this distance. And this is gonna alleviate some of the pressure. So we have a knee in front of the shoulder. So if Grace goes to push forward here, this knee can serve as a block. And then we have the leg over the top. We're gonna to put our heel by our knee as close as we can get it. So if she goes to pull away and posture up, this leg holds her in place. Now from here, we've solved the first problem of this like pressure issue, which is if Grace is wanting to drive into me, I can always move my body away. And then out of here, we have situations where if we wanna pass the leg over the top, we can go maplata. If we feel like our partner is posturing up and pulling away, there's space here to put our foot on the inside and we can start to become offensive. Even if, let's say like we're here in the clamp and we feel like we can't be offensive, we can always move our way back into positions where we can create more distance and start to pummel our leg through, for instance, for half butterfly, or we can start to make space and heist up. So you solve, basically using this clamp method, you solve the problem of there being no space between you. The first thing is like, if she lets, if you let him take this, you're gonna be in trouble. So bring your hand to the inside, good. Pass your left arm a little further across. He may be controlling you with the right arm, but you can still move your hips. So move your hips out a bit here, Grace. Good, now you're gonna perform a knee elbow that's gonna let you pull your right knee to his hip first. Good, now you can move your hip out a second time and you can slip your right knee in front of his shoulder. Good, now take your left leg up over the top and either pinch your knees or put your heel across. Awesome, great. So now you've got the leg position and now if he goes to drive forward, I want you to take your head backwards and away from him. Good. So now it's more difficult for him to put pressure on your upper body, okay? And you're using your legs, just take your foot and dorsiflexion and start pushing here. Uh, now it's, you've got a little more time. And he, as he goes to grab your head with his left arm, it's difficult. You can hold the wrist. If he wants to pull his arm backwards, now he can't. And anytime you're ready, you can scoot your hips out even further. And if you want, you can throw your top leg over from a plata. That's great. Beautiful. Yeah. Great. Or, if you start that process and you're starting to bring uh, your leg over the top and he starts bringing his head up, just take your right foot out and you're ready to start the triangle and you're in to do the work there, right? So it's not strictly dependent on you moving your partner. Kind of like you just have to hold them off and your legs are gonna be stronger than his upper body even though there's a size differential. One, buying yourself some time and two, you're, you're threatening the top person. And so oftentimes the threat of a submission is enough to get yeah. somebody to back off and you alleviate pressure that way. So where can I find out more information? That's a really good question. Uh, only a DVD I, that I, could purchase. I wish someone had thought to do a DVD. Yeah. Actually, I did do that. Um, so we're gonna put the link down below. We have a whole series on the clamp and, and all the different sorts of attacks you can perform. And, and uh, again, it's, it's great because it's a retention tool, but it's also an attack. It's hard to get offense going with someone who's perf like got a lot of pressure. And if you can start to do that, you become a threat right away. So hopefully if you have a chance, this was, well, this was helpful for you, hopefully. Helpful for Grace. Very helpful. And then uh, if you want to check it out, then the link is down below, I think.